it's a pretty incredible tool. This tool's specifically designed to enable us to see pollution, air pollution from oil and gas development that's normally invisible to the naked eye. So it has a whole bunch of really cool features. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. You'll actually hear the sound as it starts to power up. It'll be a little loud. Sure it's working. This is the actual, you know, well bore going down into the casing. Usually this is where we're going to see a leak. This is where I'd expect to see it. Let me show you what I'm seeing. So where I think this is coming from is this hatch on the condensate tank we're looking at. It looks like the there's a gap around the seal and you can actually see you know, it doesn't look to, you, even with the, you know, just the naked eye, you can see it doesn't look to be making a perfect seal. There's some warping there. Um, you can see the movement of the gas and the wind's kind of distributing it a little bit. out of sight I really try to take a look at all of the components that could potentially be leaking. So just kind of wafting up from that space. It's going to be one or more of the 20 some hydrocarbons that the camera is designed to detect. So it could be a mix of, of any of those compounds. dirty from the point of extraction to processing, transmission, you know, leaks happen all along the way. Systems are designed to emit. And I think once you've actually gotten to see that pollution, it's kind of hard to forget it. I've seen minds change. I've seen decision makers, you know, become elected officials, become advocates. You know, to, to move away from this type of extraction. It's pretty impactful. So, you know, there's the, you know, the science element of it is super important, but there's also the education aspect that I really value. I mean, to me, that's one of the most exciting parts of working with this technology, is that it's, you know, a science that is it just for the scientists? It's it's for the people.